Hi, my name is Jen Andrews and I'm the medical director of the blood bank. I'm also the chair of the clinical competency committee for our pathology, microbiology, and immunology department residents. Um, since we can't have you all visit us in person uh, this interview season, I just wanted to give you guys an idea um, of how our blood bank works. So Vanderbilt is obviously a very large academic medical facility and so you, if you choose to do your residency training here, will rotate with us in the blood bank for two to three months. Right now I'm on coagulation rotation so I wake up and roll the pager to myself and then I start you know, working on reading about patients and looking through their lab results and then um, kind of working through what I think might be going on with them and then um, I discuss that with my attending at the end of the day. Hi, my name's uh, Dr. Quentin Eichbaum. I'm the Transfusion Medicine Fellowship Director. The fellowship itself is structured in a fairly standard way, six months of transfusion medicine, two months of coagulation, a month at the American Red Cross, which many of the fellows really like because we don't have a collection center here ourselves, a month on apheresis, therapeutic apheresis service, and a month of elective where you can go overseas if you like. And one of the things I want the fellows all to do is to publish during the fellowship. We have really personable, fun, um, engaged faculty. A very diverse faculty with different interests and you'll get teaching from a, a lot of different angles. Three of the faculty in our division are also hematologists. So myself and Dr. Allison Wheeler are also pediatric hematologists and Dr. Diva Sharma is an adult hematologist. So you'll actually learn a little bit of blood banking from the clinical side of things um, rather than just the laboratorian's perspective, which I think is really unique.